Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Seeking Sovngarde. First of all, I'd like to apologize for a slightly later episode today. Unfortunately, I've had a batch of insomnia and uh, kind of didn't sleep at all last night. Not even one bit, which is uh, weird for myself. So I've been trying to get through the day as best I can, and I have loaded myself up on caffeine before diving in today. So um, we'll see how today's episode goes. We're standing in the rain currently, so we're just going to go ahead and dive on in. Uh, something you might have noticed in the little intro there is that uh, this one's face looks different now. And that's because I have gone ahead and installed the RS Children mod so it actually gives each child in the game a different face so they don't all look like weird robots. I mean they kind of still look a little robotic but just uh, less robotic than normal. We're going to start our day off on this kind of terrible day by uh, having a drink from the well and refilling our water skins. I think we might need another drink actually. Let's see how we do. Oh no, maybe not. No, we're okay. Now, I'm gonna see if we might have a chance. It's probably too early, isn't it? Yes, it's too early. Damn it. Okay, we woke up uh, We woke up a little bit earlier today, but um, I'm wanting to try and get some potions before we leave the town because um, obviously we went through quite a few of our potions. We don't really have many left at all. Um, I do know how to make some basic potions now, but uh, I'm still not the best when it comes to making potions, so I'd rather buy some uh, high quality ones to take with us. Now, I've been told Blue Mountain Flower and Wheat is a good go-to for health potions. Seriously, I, I barely ever do um, alchemy in in Skyrim. It's surprisingly enough, because I, I don't usually play um, magic-orientated characters as much. I don't know why. It, I've got nothing against them. I think we might just wait here for a little bit. Like, actually physically wait, which um, I think is fine. We'll just wait, see if the store opens up, and... Uh, nope. Is it nine? I don't like to waste the day. Let's see. Let's wait till nine. Okay, hey, everyone seems to be popping on inside, so um, let's do it as well. Arcadia's Cauldron. Let's see what kind of health potion she has. Now, I don't want them as much for myself. I want them more for these two here, so, yeah. Okay. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? No, you don't. I'm I've fine. Something for that. I'm perfectly fine. Take a look. Okay, let's have a look potion-wise. What do you have? Okay, there's, a, there's only one minor healing potion. It's meant to cost, what, 17? Okay, we'll take it. Why not? Oh, actually, no, that's just saying the value over there, and I missed it. Um, okay, what else do we have? Not that much else. Some weak poisons, which are tempting to pick up, but um, that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Arcadia. Come back anytime if you yeah. need a remedy. <laughs> I guess we'll be on our way then. Damn, I was hoping I was hoping for something a little bit more substantial, but um we'll just have to make it work with what we've what got there. Well, Genesis, you can stay nice and close for now because um well we've got some work to do outside these walls. I wanna go to Grey Mouth, but I feel like this is a good um well, it's a good first step. She's usually really hard at work. Just wanted to see if you could see Braith running about. I saw a kid running around before and I thought they could be her. We do need to have a word with her. I think this is one of the things that I really enjoy just about it being standard in Special Edition is... Rain? No rain. It just makes sense. <laughs> I've got your back. Good. Okay, well, we're wet unfortunately. Let's hope that... um. The weather is a little bit more localized for just White Run itself. Once we get outside, it uh, clears up a little bit. I have to admit, clear skies would be pretty nice. <laughs> but uh, alas, we're not the Dragonborn. Hmm. Um, let's see what our weather sense can tell us, actually. Let's see. Seven. Warm and damp. The air is chilly and we are getting colder. Okay, so we're likely to get colder over time. I think, um... Oh. Well, we do. We like them. And I think we're going to get along quite well with Janissa. I just need to make sure that I don't call her Irelith. 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we're not Leon, so um, we're going to make sure that we actually pay attention to who she is. You two just find your way around. They'll be down in just a moment. Meanwhile, we can have a look out here and see if we can uh, catch any game on the plains. Doesn't look like there's much out here today. And saying that, there's a fox over there. Don't know if we can get much from the fox. No. Let's just carry on. Now, um, I apologize, I can't remember who it was that was saying, but someone was, um, someone was mentioning the, uh, the Mammoth Hunters in a camp nearby. Uh, it'd be great to go and get some of the materials from the Mammoth, but, uh, it's also another place to, um, fight a whole heap of bandits that, uh, isn't quite on the cards just yet. I mean, realistically, what we should be doing is waiting here, like, waiting to take this group out until someone asks us to do it, but, um, I think we're going to take it upon ourselves to do so. Okay. So, I believe there are still two here. And I can't remember what the trigger is. I know there is a trigger to make more of them appear. <laughs> and that makes me... More than a little nervous. I just want to double check everything here. Okay, so we've got healing on three. And our mining healing potions on two. It might be good if we can catch him out by himself. But yeah, let's all crouch down for now. He seems to go out to a pile just kind of over that way. To collect firewood. If we can catch him alone, we'll easily outnumber him. I know this is like way more tactics needed to uh, just fight one bandit, but um, you know, I think it's a little necessary. Okay, here we go. All right, he's by himself currently. All right, let's go in. Oh, he's an archer. Ah! Oh, that's what we're talking about. No, he didn't. But he's got a friend over there. He's doing the old um, intimidation war dance. Yeah, just stay cool. Stay cool. Let's go ahead and search him. I don't think his friend's actually going to come from him right now. Uh, we'll take the arrows for ourselves and perhaps the mead. Thank you. And we'll just allow our stamina to come back. He's actually going to sit down? Wow, you are ballsy, my friend. No, we're here to do business. Well, actually, rather to put you out of business. Let's see what he does here. I'm I'm interested I'm interested to see what um, Janessa can do, if anything, with her bow from back there, or if uh, Rylan, for example, would take this guy down. Come on, there we go. Yes, and he certainly was surrounded. There was no way out of that for him. Ava, the stone slinger. Uh, we've actually picked up his mace before in Leon's Tale towards the very start, actually. Um, do we want to take that with us? It's worth something. Hmm. I feel like we'll take some goods, but, uh, we need to leave some here for it to, um, obviously be used as evidence. And hello, backpack. You don't have one, do you? I haven't made one for you. Yeah, we could give it to you. Let's have a look. Alright, yeah, we'll take it. Is there anything else? No. It's all heavy, so, um... Yeah. We're just going to give you this, can I help you? Yes, you can. What do you need to take? Not taken, just given. Okay, let's see. Give. And it looks like she equipped it. Together we will yeah. Any All right. Yeah, sit down if you like, my friend. Okay, let's go through this and see what we've got. At the same time, I'm a little nervous. We could have um, some frenemies. You know what? Let's try this first. There's a coin purse. Um, you know, we'll take it as payment for um what we've done. Another salmon steak. We're going through that food. I'm just wanting to <laughs> kind of stay semi-alert here, if I can. A lot of large sacks, so it's a lot of food more than anything. Which um, I'm imagining, you know, White Run needs a lot of at the moment. There is a civil war going on, and while this isn't um. 
the Rorik Stead that we seek. It is a horse. All the same. It could be useful. I feel like uh, that would be something that we'd want to um, allow them to use for evidence. We've got a smuggler's note. I really don't know what does it. I know there's something. I wonder if it's the chest or not. Hmm. We'll come back to the note. It's been such a long time since I've done this, so yeah, I can't remember. I'll definitely take them. We'll take their. Uh, I, uh, we, we won't take the scooter. <laughs> evidence. Like I said, evidence. Sack of flour. Hmm. More gold, though. Yes, please. Most of the barrels are just going to have food in, I'm assuming. Salt? Yeah, we can take some salt. Okay. Um, let's see what the chest holds for us. I'm a little nervous that this might be uh, the trigger. And I can't remember how many people come as well. Um, shouldn't you be using your bow? Let's get going. Let's have a look really quick. Twig options. And let's go combat. Should be bow and arrow. Yep. So, not sure why you're using that at the moment. Let's see. Gear. Let's see. Anything else under here? I'm just having a look. Uh, it's duplicating of stuff, no. So I think what I might do is just... Um, I'm tempted to take the weapon from her, so... I think we're just going to go back to the main menu on her. We've stopped. What trade. It's the least I can do. Let's see. Yeah, so she's got those two. Let's see if we can take those. Sorry. Yeah, it'll force her to use it. And uh, did what do you need to take? She's got arrows, right? She's got them on her back, but I'm not actually seeing them in her inventory, so... We'll go ahead and give her a hundred of ours, because um, I don't think we're likely to use a hundred. Ah, oh, you know, we won't give a hundred, but we'll give quite a few. There we go. Okay. So maybe, Together we will vanquish any foe. maybe that's why she wasn't using it before. Okay, actually, you know what? Before we before we go into there, that's actually worth a fair amount. Not that I could sell it for that much though, but uh, I'll take it. The wine isn't worth that much though. Okay, barrel. Check the basket. Oh, that's okay. We don't need a basket. What am I doing? Get rid of it. Okay, what do we got? A spigot. We don't need a spigot. Uh, that's tempting, though. I'll take the water skin. Why not? Why not? And we'll take some more salt. And, okay. Uh, yeah. So we've got two extra water skins on us now, so... I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, alright. Let's, uh, let's get this chest open and see if that's, uh, what kind of triggers these other... Smugglers to come and say hello. Okay. Lock picking increased, and we've got some copper septums and a minor stamina. Alright, ears out, people. Oh, yep, 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 yep. We certainly have trouble. Okay. Oh, shit, mage, 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 mage. Alright, get in there. You're right, Eric. Eric, Eric. Oh, holy crap, well done. I don't know if I saw any arrows going off there. Your artist hasn't been doing much painting, but uh, you seem to be okay. You stood well against them, holy crap. So one of them was a mage. I think it's this one here, the Dunma. Um, actually, ah, uh, it is, it's very nearly, it is the knee. That's the weak point, although he's not a Nord. I guess it affects us all. Well done. They they took a, they took care of that finally. I'm impressed. Not bad, team. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about uh, the fort now. I mean, sure, there are there are a lot more enemies there, but uh, hell, some are familiar for sixty seconds. I mean, it's tempting just to use. I feel like we'd sell it because uh, it's not really a Rallin kind of thing to use, but. Uh, it's certainly tempting. Steel greatsword, 50 damage. Hmm. I think the axe does suit him more. What do we got? That's TV armor. And the sucker here. Iron battle axe. 
No, I, th I think the steel the steel battle axe must be doing more damage than what can that. I do for you, friend? So um, <laughs> I guess this means that we can read this and, and just be fine to read it. Let's see. Akari, you can take those prices and eat them. We found our own source of scuba now, the real stuff. Not that watered down third hand trash you've been selling. And don't even think about ratting us out. One word to the guards and I'll make sure they know what that seer of yours is really up to. Seer? Ah, okay. Are they talking about the seer? Because there's someone that... There is a seer, I think. At least from memory, I'm trying to scratch my brain. I feel like there is a seer in Whiterun. Was she providing them skooma? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, but this seems to be the last of them, and uh, we have taken care of them. We survived. Not bad, team, not bad. So, we will leave the horse there, and we will kind of carry on our merry way. And we'll head back into the town. Uh, and actually, I completely forgot. We can return that sword as well. We never actually got a chance to do it last episode, so I will attempt to do it this one. We are going to take a little bit of a shortcut, though, if I can, to... Uh, get up and inside. I never seem to be able to find very good shortcuts into Whiterun though. It always ends up taking more time, rather. Yep, no. Would you have guessed the walls are actually high? <laughs> we can jump in here though. And you know what? We can use this. And I have been told that we can just use the uh, pickaxe on it. Um, okay, maybe I have to be closer to it. Oh, yeah. I guess it uses our stamina, but uh, you can get some corundum this way. And the corundum ore was actually what we needed to be able to make some buckles, so that's a good thing. We might be able to make some more steel and, in turn, be able to make uh, some more buckles. Okay, jumping on down. Returning to town. Not bad. Not bad. Little bit of uh, light murdering <laughs> to start the day off. And uh, I'm surviving somehow on my very small amount of sleep. I'm impressing myself right now. If I fall asleep during the recording and it's just an hour of uh, Robin slowly freezing to death, I apologize. Okay. Let's see if we can track him down. What's up? Lars. Hey. Braith. Ah. What are you looking at? There we go. I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Right. Okay, let's see. Look, Braith, you need to stop bullying Lars. Yeah? Why? I'm his bodyguard. He has a terrible disease. You wanna be shipped off to Honor Hall Orphanage? Wow. Um Let's just say, yeah, where is bodyguard? Oh, no, because I, d I don't know if that would work. Hmm. Well, I, I don't want to threaten a child. <laughs> hmm. But then that sounds like I'm threatening to kill her parents. <laughs> um, I think maybe we'll go with the center one. But then she might just tease him about it. Ah, oh, the dilemmas of childhood troubles. We'll try it. Okay, okay, I'll leave him alone. I was just kidding around. Besides, if he'd only kiss me, I wouldn't have to beat him up all the time. Ah, I see what it is. And now I've gone and told her that he has a terrible disease. Bro, I'm you sorry. Done? Lars, my friend, I'm sorry. Hey there. It was Lars, right? Okay, I guess it's over. Alright then. <laughs> have fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, alright. Well, that is that. We earned our uh, two gold, pe well, two copper septums. All right, let's see. Well, you can get stuff, but we're gonna give her. A You're the best. Here we can go. Can you be my father? Oh, thank you, divines. We'll get Bless there. Bless your kind heart. Okay. Bye. All right, now let's see. I do want to sell off that staff. Um, we're gonna sell it to Bellathor, but. Uh, Actually, is it best for me to be selling to Bellathor Welcome because to I guess we haven't, we might not be able to, I, I doubt we'd be able to sell those goods to the innkeeper. So uh, I think it has to be Bellathor. 
Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Let's Fight see. Assist- yes, I know. Some may call this junk. Oh, dear. Me, I call them treasures. <laughs> um, the large tent, we do have to upgrade eventually if we are going to be doing more uh, adventuring outside. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Weapons. Let's go. Uh, I probably want to sell those off because Erlith doesn't need those anymore. And the staff for the familiar, which is worth 900 I can sell it for 300 that is a travesty. I guess we've got to do it, right? We aren't, we aren't a merchant <laughs> by any means. Not by a long shot, no. But uh, we got a little bit out of that. So, hey, that's okay. I'm half tempted to get that, but he's overpriced it by a shit ton. Bellifully ripping me off, man. Okay, I think that's it. It's all that one from the likes of you. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd really rather not. But one, he's a creep, and second, he rips us off. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I feel like the seer lives in that house there, the one that's all run down. It has a strange marking as well. Olaf the Feeble. I'm guessing she's not there now. I feel like that's her. Ah, you sold house. And that's the back door? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over to the forge. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yep. Okay, let's see. We're gonna melt down, make some ingots, try and attempt to make some steel. Um, I don't know if we will have everything we need to, though. Oh, we do! We do! Okay. Let's go ahead and make two steel ingots. And with that, we'll be able to make some assorted buckles. That's what I'm after. Let's go. This... no, we're not after... Hmm. Ah, there we go. It is misc. Great. Yes. And we'll make one more set. There we go. Shell bug helmet? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Very strange. Okay, all right, now let's go and have a look. Heading over to here before Eric gets on there. Just to see if there's anything we can make. I don't think we have the leather to actually make them, but, uh... Ooh, we could make the shoulder pad. No, but that would get rid of our bandolier, so we don't actually want that. We need the sorted buckles to be able to do those. Hmm. No, I think that's probably it for now. We'll just hold on to them. And, hmm, let's, uh, let's have a look at the map. I'm half tempted to start heading that way now. Uh, not Swindler's Den, no, uh, the fort. Half tempted. Great Winter Watch ain't gonna happen, that's for sure, but Voltime Towers is a maybe. We might be able to do that. Hmm. Bit of a toughie. Or we could head to the fort. You know what? I think it's time. I think we've bided enough time. We need to do it. Blue mountain flowers, right? Blue mountain flowers. Yeah. I can't make it on the go, unfortunately. Unless we make a mortar and pestle. Which we which I think we might be able to actually. I remembered seeing it somewhere. And we can get enchanting supplies. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where I saw that. I'm just going to have a quick look over here. See if I can see it popping up anywhere. No. Wouldn't be through there anywhere. No. Uh, it's, it's frustrating because I definitely remember seeing it at some point, but um, just can't recall where it was. I should fill up the, uh, we can always do that outside, fill up the water skins. No, I think that's, um, that's us. Let's just get moving. The weather actually seems a little bit better. Not the best we've ever seen it, but, uh, it's not so bad. We're actually kind of close to a level up. We might be able to deploy a 
tactical level up at some point. I'm going to grab the purple mountain flowers as well when I can. Seem to be able to get a fair few of them. And let's see. Let's see if there's anyone of interest down there. Sup? No. Let's get moving. We can stop by that little... Uh... Actually, you know what? We should have some tea. That's going to help us. Let's see. Lavender tea. It's going to keep us warm. Warm and focused. Okay, have some more lavender. I don't know what lavender tea would taste like. I'm not so sure. Is this good for us? No. Yeah. I don't know. I imagine it could be quite an, uh, quite an aggressive taste. But you never know until you try it. Well, that's the fort off in the distance. Can we make it? Oh, hello. That's tempting. Hmm. We might end up doing a little bit of this, actually. Oh, damn it! That's not the bow. Son of a bitch. Well, we just wasted a potion. I'd like you to be closer to me if you could. What? Nothing I can't handle. That it? Okay, let's see. I'm hoping she backs me up here. What was that? Oh, we stagger it. Oh, here we go. Rollin! Way to go, buddy. Nicely done. All things considered. Nicely done. Well, I guess thanks for the moral support, guys. <laughs> Okay, that is something. <laughs> kind of wasn't anticipating that. Um, I'm just wondering if I'd be able to drag it over there to the fire. There ain't much of a fire. It's all the way up the top. I feel like it's going to be better if we make our own. We might just, just spend a little bit of time here doing that. Yeah, we can't really upgrade that anymore, can we? Okay, alright, let's see. I'm seeing what we have in terms of supplies at the moment. Now, we're going to have to actually get a fair amount to be able to get a fire going. But there are three of us now, so I'm hoping that it might be a little bit faster. First, we need to gather some branches. Or branches, rather. Okay, four branches. And let's go ahead and spend another half an hour trying to harvest some dead wood. Hopefully... Get some assistance. Hey, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build a campfire. Just give us a little bit of warmth while we're working on the animal, because we will be working on it for a while. Oh, okay, that works. That'll do. Let's go ahead and use the campfire. Get those branches in there, and let's use some little linen wraps, because we've got heaps of them. Actually, we've got heaps of the... Uh, Tundra cotton. It's going to be difficult, but we can make it work. Okay. It's going to increase our skill as well. Uh, where did Janessa go? You see where she went? Rather? Eric? Rather? I'm asking myself. <laughs> I'm Rowland. Camping perk increased. Nice. And let's go ahead and get it up to flickering. Three hours is good. We could go to crackling. I don't think we need six hours. I think three hours is fine. A uh, little concerned that... Oh, she's just waiting up there. Crap. Apologies. Hey. We going? Yeah, <laughs> she sounds pissed off. Excellent. Uh, and that's also maybe why she didn't attack as well. My bad. My bad. Okay, let's do some work on the deer. Let's go ahead and field dress. Oh, it sounds like we actually got the arrows back. Nice. Getting a bit hungry. I'm glad we got so many of those salmon steaks. Okay, let's go ahead and skin the pelt. Ruined pelt. Oh, god damn it. Um, how much will it, how long will it take us to butcher? It's 317 at the moment. Let's go ahead and butcher. Is it gonna take another hour? Animal fat gained. Uh it's just just under an hour. 
That's okay. It's not it's not such a bad way to spend our time. Now, do we want the ingredients? The antlers, etc. I think that's probably it. So let's go ahead and just dispose the corpse. He's fallen asleep on the job. That's okay. And our campfire actually lasted the whole time, which is pretty good. Unfortunate that we just got the ruined pelt out of that, though. And now I'm seeing that wolf. I'm tempted... You know what? <laughs> I know I said we were going to go after the fort, but this might be a... This might be a hunting episode. Oh, god damn it. Okay, you know what? I need to rebind that. <laughs> we're going to have no potions left. No, I just need to learn. I need to learn. Oh, dear. Number two is not my bow, even though I seem to be convinced that it is. Damn. I think it was close. You by yourself? Looks like he is. Just wait for him to stop. Damn it. I think we've lost him. Oh no, he's just on the ridge. Just think if we've got anything else between us. We can get a little bit closer. Mud crabs. Deadly, deadly mud crabs. Come on, wolf. Don't want to overshoot him. Oh wow, that was major undershooting. Okay, <laughs> holy crap. Wow. Okay, yeah, we can get a lot closer. Oh, that could be a level up. Very close to. Actually, you know what? It's a little bit more tempting, isn't it? Yeah, if we can follow up from that stagger, it's possible. Okay. Mm, we're a little bit further away from the fire than I'd like. Endurance perk available. Okay, well, now we kind of really need to get back to the fire. Let's see. Yep, I'm not surprised. God damn. <laughs> uh, how, how over are we? Uh, you know what? I, I could probably... This is a little risky. Oh, hang on, wait. I picked it up and it's still there? Uh, that's a little bugged, isn't it? Damn, that's unfortunate. Uh, because it should be under here. Deer carcass, right? Yes, I do have it. Um, what I can do is I can just get rid of some bits and pieces here that are weighing us down. Uh, kind of like our, our armor, actually. Um, but it, it, that is also giving us coverage, so that's probably not such a good idea. But, um, but, uh, God damn it! I keep forgetting to give him this damn sword back, don't I? Uh, let's just see. Are we going to be able to get away with just dropping these things here? Uh, I can't drop it because it's a quest item. <laughs> it's too important. Okay, let's drop the bow for now then. Is it worth me dropping everything? I feel like that's a little dangerous. But uh, we'll just be able to run over and back. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think by the time I do this, we could have probably come there and back again. That's 35. That's not good. still not going to bring us down enough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring us down enough. Drop the tanning rack. Uh, could we drop we'll drop that as well? You know what? I don't think we can. Oh, jeez. Calm down. <laughs> wow, she's, uh, she's harsh. Uh, no, I think what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, is once again cut forward to once I am actually there. So, guys and gals, I will see you all in a moment. Okay, and we have arrived back at the fire. I guess they're probably a little bit peeved off. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and drop said deer carcass. No. Really? God damn it, game. And now the fire's gone out. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that didn't go exactly according to plan at all in the slightest. <sighs> oh, it has to be lit. Oh. Well, I'd love to get it started to be able to... Uh... I'm right behind you. Okay, yeah, you are. You're kind of actually more like in front of me, but uh, hey. 
whatever you say. Uh, I'm going to get this just started so that we can actually just do um, the skills. Go ahead and start the fire. Oh dear. <laughs> Not such a successful um, outdoor excursion. It is still over there though, so we could still go work on it. Um, we just won't have a fire to keep us warm while we do it. It's not actually too bad of a day today. It's pretty light sprinkles. We should be able to handle that. Okay. Can I assist you? No, yeah, probably just getting out of the fireplace. That'd be the, the way to go. Okay, let's see. Right, okay, so, firecraft. We could go for another one. Let's have a look down. We should be able to get the next one along, which is, um, Trailblazer. We don't tend to use the walking stick very much. Yeah, so we need to work our way up to it. Um, so I think we need to do that. We need to get Trailblazer so we can move up along the trees, so we'll go ahead and unlock it for now. And I just want to double check Endurance. I don't think we have got another point in Endurance just yet. Let's have a look. No, we do. We do. Okay, nice. And so we went up in that direction there. We've got the Frost Ward. I'm almost tempted to get another point in that. Let's see. Well insulated. Now that's tempting. Increase the warmth of all water equipment by 25% if wearing armor or clothing in every slot. Which we are. So that could help us out. So I think we're going to go ahead and choose it. And that's going to lead us up to being able to get... Um, in a flame, is it? Ah. Kneel and enter a meditative state, which present, prevents your exposure from rising above 67% in any weather condition. Nice. That's cool. Very cool. Alright, um, let's go ahead and we're going to put this out for now. Nothing else we can do with it for the moment. So we'll go ahead and destroy it. That should do it. Okay, let's go ahead and exit hand warming, and we're going to head back over towards the deer to see if we can uh, get some supplies from it. I'm so frustrated that I walked all the way over here and I've got nothing to show for it. <laughs> um, you know what, while we're here, let's go ahead and see what we can level up. I'm going to put another point into health. Surprise, surprise. I will need to start putting something into uh, stamina eventually. Can I put anything else into... Yes, I can. Good. Cushioned. Hmm. Okay. I don't see us taking too much. Yeah. So I, th I think for now, going for level 2, definitely worth it for us. I don't see us taking too much full damage. But um, having that extra bit of, um, yeah, 45, that's good. That's good. It's better than what we had. And who knows, that could be the difference between uh, us being alive and dead. So... Yeah, okay, so that is our deer. Let's go ahead and see if we can field dress you, deer. And we'll see what kind of condition we are in afterwards. Just a bit hungry, that's okay. We are eventually going to run out of this food though, so I do kind of need to be mindful. Let's go ahead and skin the pelt. Come on, give me something good. Okay, we got something out of it, and we can see that the sun is starting to set. And I suppose I kind of did promise, didn't I? Well, I didn't promise, but I said that um, we were going to go and check out the fort. I think we're going to. The question is, what way are we going to do that? You know, Sigrun, she approached from around the rear of it. And then, eventually, the front. I'm sure by now they have replenished their ranks. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drink some tea. As they, uh, look at the place from the outside, perhaps. Attempting to figure out how they best want to try and infiltrate the fort. See, it's not an easy task, because, uh, with archers on the walls, they can really just kind of tear you to shreds. And, uh, actually, you know what? Us being fatigued is not a good sign at all. I kind of feel like... I'm, I'm still tempted. I'm tempted to see if we can make a dent. I was going to say, I was tempted to make our camp up there by the, by the giants, kind of just like Siggy did, but, um... I think we're going to go close. 
I wonder if I can tell you. What? Yeah, I can't exactly tell her to uh, attack. Oh, okay, well the rain's stopping, that's something at least. Hmm. We can get pretty close. That it. Just want to make sure that she's still with us. She does have a habit of just standing there afterwards. No, she's definitely with us. Okay, yeah, so it is starting to get darker. Maybe let's start to try and approach now. Yeah, see, I don't know who that is up there in that um, little cage. I know it's probably not secret, but I'd like to think that that... Well, I know it's not the nicest way to think, but... Uh, perhaps it is her. Okay. Now, I doubt that she has just a knife. I think she probably has a bow also. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> go into this properly, Rikon. Now, as I stated, I did have insomnia. I haven't slept. This might be a, uh... It might be part of it. Oh. I feel like we're certainly hearing something from the inside here. Let's go ahead and use our instincts and just see what's going on. Or at least listen out to what's going on. Hello. You're right above us, aren't you? I'd really like it, um, if Erlith might be able to take a shot at them. Oh, sorry, Erolith. God damn it, I did it already. Janessa, I'm so sorry. I can see why they built the fort here. A small force could control most of the nearby land. Let's see. Come on. It was there for a second. I wish there was an easy way to do this. I, yeah, it just... It's, it's a little frustrating. That it? It is for now, Janessa. But, um... If we are to get inside these walls, we really do need those arches to go down. Most importantly. Did you hear something? Okay. Things can get pretty crazy pretty fast. It looks like Eric's wanting to bring out his bow as well. I'm a little concerned that she's just standing there. Can I help you? No? Okay, she's good. Together we will vanquish any foe. Okay, here we go. Get ready, Eric. Here we go! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Shoot! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tell you what. You start running so I can stab you in the back. Oh, oh, okay, I see how it is now. Yeah, well, you've done that once before. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Ready for you this time. Oh, okay, archers, two archers. Okay, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Okay, use a potion. Oh, that's Eric. Don't attack Eric. Get the car sheet. Eric, I'm sorry! I, yep! <laughs> okay, finish her off, dude. Well done. Uh, I am so sorry, Eric. I just, uh... Oh, wow, we destroyed that? Maybe that's... Oh, okay, there's still an archer there. Where's Janessa? Eric, watch out, buddy! Okay, you were hanging back, huh? I don't know if we can destroy that. No, nope, maybe not. Oh, we can. Archery? I'm guessing we got that from Janessa. Okay, well that was a little bit more intense than I would have liked. The reason I pulled up um, into the menu there was because I was getting ready to use our adrenaline rush, but um, I decided against it. And um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that glare though, he knows. Um, yeah, I, I, I really didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> It was dark. He was panicking. The hammer, the hammer, you know, the hammer wants what the hammer wants, and the hammer was hammering down. Let's take what we can before we head inside. There is still one more on the walls. So, how many do we have out here? There's another one down here as well. Okay. Just take the arrows. Right, stay close, you two. Um, what can I do? I'm just gonna you, check Brian? her inventory really quick. If that is what you wish. Yes. Um. Okay. Good. She still has those arrows. 
Okay. I don't I don't think she's actually using them. Okay. Let's see if we can use this one here. What have we got? Hunting bow scoped. No. Take that though. So we know that there was a uh, a chieftain of sorts up on up on the wall. Last time we were here. Okay. Let's um quickly do some delving. I'll take it. And I think I did actually use my last health potion in that fight as well, so <laughs> Yeah. Oh, purple mountain flowers. Okay, we want to get up onto the wall. Oh, why wow, that uh, that wagon texture is missing? Okay, that's the one we're after. <coughs> oh, what can I do for you, friend? Uh, yeah, I can't exactly tell you, can I? Okay, definitely an archer. I think we can, now this is me probably going to eat my own words, but I, I'm saying I think we can actually take a uh, an arrow now. This what you want, huh? In the face. Okay. Yeah, because uh, we did take an arrow before and we ended up okay. I don't know if it was a steel arrow or not, but um, we survived it alright. Okay, you guys are finding your way up, good. Okay. No sign of the horse yet, though. Which, um, is probably su surprising to them. This has been the place that they... Well, we're relatively certain that, um... Uh, ah, they were, they were keeping the good stuff hidden. Yeah, they were relatively certain that uh, they'd find their... Rick Steed here. Is that gold? That's gold. That's goddamn gold. But I can't, uh, I can't grab it for some reason. Hang on, let me pull out my bow. <laughs> uh, so I can use it for aiming, weirdly enough. Um, I've lost it. I've lost my bow. What did I do with my bow? I lost it somehow. Okay. It was unfavorited. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, that's, that's the only way I can get across here. Okay, what I'm wanting to try and do is move these off here so I can actually get them, because uh, for some reason you don't seem to be able to... That's uh, very low. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Unfortunately, <laughs> the gold is un it's not accessible for us. Um, yeah, all of my weapons seem to be disappearing from that for some reason, which is a little strange. Yeah. Unusual. There we go. And my bow is still there. There we go. Okay. That's better. Let's move on. We know that there is still an enemy here. Which we should deal. I should have taken the other potion. Not that I'm going to use it. We can just sell it. Okay. There's a fireplace. What do you think? I think bad guys. Aha, okay. One Khajiit. Let's see what we can do. Let's get ready to do a little bit of dodge. Oh, how about that dodge? Oh, and and Eric coming to get in on the uh, on the kill there. Not bad. I think all things considered, we did uh, pretty well there as a team. I think Janessa was probably doing more than than I think. Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Let's uh, just rifle through there really quick. See what we got. Nord mead. No, nope, you can uh, keep your mead. But uh, we will take that. And I'm half tempted to take the flute. What can I do for you, Sit friend? Sit on the box. That's what you can do. Sit on the box. And uh, guys and gals, I think this is where we are going to end today's episode. Just like Sigrun, these three companions have managed to clear the outside, but, um, well, the outside is only half the battle, as we know oh too well. Sigrun fell to the fort. They got the better of her. 
sneaky sneaky backstabs, but alas, it was the better. And whether or not it is Sigrun outside the gates, we know that she fought well before she fell to them. Blood has once again been spilled at the fort, and these three won't stop until they get some answers. But that is going to be next time. Thank you for joining me. I have been Rykon. This has been Rylan the Hammer, Eric the Snake, for last episode, of course, and Janessa, also known as Erelith. <laughs> you have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>